you, Holy Spirit, that you may really come and lead us to the throne of grace and, and right behind you. Praise be to God. We're going to ask, amen. This Margot change the scripture for us. Oh, it's time.
it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings upon the salt salt street upon the harp with a solemn sound for thou lord has made for thou lord has made me glad through thy work i will triumph in the works of thine hand O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. I've read Psalm 92, 1 through 5. Thank <laughs> you. 
work today. Hallelujah. 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 Well, I'm going to turn it to the hands of Bishop. But before I do, I love to praise him. Does anybody here love to praise him? I love to praise his name. I love to pray. Praise him. Yes.
understanding. But it says, the song says, Oh, how wonderful. Oh, how marvelous. Just to know that Jesus lives in me. service inside. 
Praise God. Amen. Amen. I hope that this is the word of God. This is Pentecost today. This is the day that the Holy Ghost was poured out. Praise God. It was poured out. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He said, I'm going away. I won't let you come for this. I'm going to send you a keeper. Praise God. Amen. And I'll be with you. And he said, I keep the guy for the Holy Ghost. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop, do something. I think they're coming in again. I'm send you a hand.
praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise him. Thank you. 
life you free. Hallelujah. Come on, play with it. Come Hallelujah. on. Hallelujah. Life you free. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. back. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Glory. Oh, Yeah. 
and just mess up the river. We're going to leave it like this. Hallelujah. I'm glad 
Aren't you glad? I'm glad that Jesus saved me. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, Then you 
And give you what they say for the Lord. Amen. Amen. I like to stick with the occasion. Amen. Is that all right? Yes. But first, we're going to pray first. All right? Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the word today. Thank you for this Pentecostal Sunday, which you have blessed us to see. So many have went on home through the COVID. You let me know, even to let the people know down in the corporate that, that this is a storm that they're going to have to ride it out. And we thank you, oh glory to God. We know that we're almost at the tail end of it, but we thank you that many of us are here today and we're here by the grace of God. Amen. But those that went on, they went on, but we thank you that we're here, we're here to give you the praise. Oh, we thank you for Professor Rock. Bless the pastor here. Bless the bishop. And oh God, in the name of their first ladies, bless them. In the name, bless the whole entire congregation. They're standing with this great man of God. Glory to God. I know this church is going up. They're going higher in your name today. I thank you that your hand is on this church. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. amen. Acts, amen. The second chapter. Amen. I'm going to go with the flow. Amen. Amen. Do what God tells us to do. Amen. Amen. We need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. A lot of folks is operating in the church and they don't have the power. Amen. Amen. But you need the power of God. Amen. Without the power, you can't you can't reach, you can't do nothing. Amen. But if you have folks that sing in the church, they got the power. They say amen. Amen. They gifted, but they don't have the power. They say amen. Amen. How many know when the rapture comes, they come in, they ain't looking for no gifts, they're looking for the power. Amen. The power of God. How y'all about shot? It ain't looking, you can be gifted, amen. And when they come back, they ain't looking for no titles. Amen. You put the titles, amen, look at the cemetery. Those that have titles, they ain't going to make it. Let's say amen. amen. But it's good to have the title, but you better have the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's what's going to get you out of the grave. That's going to pick you up. Yes. Come on, somebody. You need the big picker up. Let's say amen. amen. I'm not talking about bounty today. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Amen. Some folks are looking, amen. Some may, may be looking for the undertaker, but I'm looking for the upper taker. Let's say amen. Right. Upper taker. Hallelujah. I'm looking for the upper taker. Let's say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost is here. Amen. Amen. Read this description. And when the Holy Ghost, the day of Pentecost was fully come. It didn't say half. That when the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were with all one accord. In one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as the Russian mighty went. And it filled the house where they were sitting. And they appeared at the dumb cloven tongues of necklace of fire. And it sat upon each of them. They say, man. Amen. Each one of them is sat on. They, they, you didn't have one pulling west and one pulling east. It said it sat on each one of them. Amen. Amen. They were on one accord. And they were filled. All filled. Let's say. Somebody say all. All. Filled with the Holy Ghost. They began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. Uh -huh. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem devout men. Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Mm -hmm. And now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confound because that they heard every them speak, every man heard them speak in his own tongue. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one another, Behold, are not these which speak Galileans? And how we hear every man in our own tongue where we were born. Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and Jerusalem, of Mesopotamia, in Judea, in Cappadocia, in Pontus, in Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in parts of Libya, Cyrene, strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. Amen. We're going to skip down to the 13th and, 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 and the 12th verse. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What mean of this? One mocking said, These men are full of new wine. Peter standing up with the 12th. Lift up his. Lift up lifted up his voice and said, Ye men of Galilee, all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose. See, it is but the third hour of the day, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And said, And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, your sons and daughters, shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Glory to God. And on thy, my service and on my hand made it, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven and, and above. And signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. We say amen. 
Come on, come on and say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for this great celebration. Yeah. Of Pentecostal Sunday. Yes, sir. We know that book, the physician wrote this uh, book. Amen. He was called the above physician. Let's say amen. But uh, he knew that he needed the Holy Ghost. As I was stating earlier, a lot of folks is in the church, but they, they're performing, but they don't have the anointing. Amen. Yes. But it's something about that anointing. Yes, sir. That anointing, when you have that anointing, uh, you could be in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. One of the members was in a coma a while back, not long ago, and I told somebody, I said, the way the anointing is in her, I said, that anointing is going to pick her up out of, out of that pain. And, she, and she's, God bless her, she's in the South today. Amen. Down in South in North Carolina. Let's say amen. Amen. God, the, the Holy Ghost will pick you up. Yes. Amen. If you got the real deal, I don't care what kind of situation you're in. See, some folks look at it and say, well, you know, God, people ain't got no business being sick. But sometimes God makes sickness come for his glory. Okay. You got to see, you want God's glory to rest on you. Sometimes God allows you to be sick that he lets you know what he can do. Yes. How can you know that he's a healer today if you've never been sick? No, that's right. How can you know that he can pick you up if you've never been down? Let's say amen. A lot of folks in the church, amen, amen, they've always had it good. They were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. They got it good. Let's say amen. Yes. Maybe somebody helped them. They ain't never had to work nowhere. Never had to do. Amen. Let's say amen. They, they depend on, 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 on what a person, but sometimes God got a way of, of taking the crutch away. Let's say amen. God will move the crutch out from under you that you that you that you been, that been holding you up a long time. Let's say amen. Amen. And sometimes God has to just to let you know what He can do. He'll take the pull, he'll pull, pull the crutch out from under you to show you that I'm still I still can bless you. But you're dependent on mama, you're dependent on daddy. But I'm gonna show you that I can be better than mama or daddy. Right. Come on, say amen. Holy Ghost is that thing that, that can bless you. Holy Ghost is that thing that can lift you up out of your situation. If you got the Holy Ghost, you got the real deal. I don't care if you're in a hospital. Amen. The Holy Ghost, amen, will pick you up. Heal your body. Go. Let's say amen. amen. Holy Ghost will make you recognize it will honor God. You won't honor yourself. You won't pat yourself on the back. You won't praise yourself. Holy Spirit, amen. The Bible says it will testify of, of, of God. Amen. Let's say amen. After the Holy Ghost comes, he said, you shall have power. Amen. In the book of Acts, he tells us in the first chapter how when Jesus was, was taken up, amen, they were there um, sitting, amen, and Jesus was taken up all of a sudden. Let's say amen. And uh, amen, the Lord was taken up, but he had told them, he said, that if you obey me, amen, if you love me, obey me. He, then he said, I will send a comforter. Yes, sir. That will be with you forever. Oh, yeah. Let's say amen. Oh, yes, he told him, I give you a paracletes. Holy Spirit, it means paracletes. One set aside to help you. Let's say amen. If I can't get help from a sister or my brother, I got somebody, amen, that's in me. Yeah. Let's say amen. Right. He not only in me, but he's working through me. Okay. Come on, say amen. Yeah. When you got the Holy Ghost, amen. Amen, he will. Amen. Manifest in your life. Yeah. Let's say amen. If you got the real deal, amen. Don't care what you go through, amen. It's going to manifest. God will raise you up yeah. in the midst of your situation. Yeah. Sometimes folk will criticize you. Folk don't like you. You know, you got folk that just don't like you. Yeah. No matter what, they just don't like you. Come on, say amen. But the Holy Ghost will let you know who, who's with you. Yeah. And those that's with you, sometimes you know. Amen. Come on, say amen. Folks will say, Amen. Amen. They don't like you because they see that, that you know, that the Holy Ghost is in you. Uh -huh. And you're a chosen vessel. I, you know, I can't help but if you're chosen, you're just chosen. Amen. I mean, no, but when you're chosen, you're going to pay a price. Yes, sir. When you're chosen, my God, I don't care what folks, won't care what folks think about you. Amen. God just going to keep you. Yes, no matter, I don't care what happened to you, your sickness come on your body, God is, ain't going to let you, ain't going to let man, his word yeah. fall to the ground. Yes, well, God, if God say he's with you, he's with you. Yes. Let's say amen. It won't care what folk think of you. Amen. If God is for you, it's more than the world against you. That's right. Come on and say amen. Yeah. amen. Come on, somebody. How many know that Peter was the one that denied Christ? Yeah. That's right. He denied Christ. Judas betrayed him. Let's say amen. But that didn't stop him. Come on, say amen. He kept on going. I'm going to preach the message on last Sunday. In the church, uh, the Lord gave me the message about prayer. It still works. 
I want you to know that prayer works. I preached about how Peter, God told Peter, he said, Satan desired to sift you as wheat. But I prayed for you that Satan would not have you. Come on, say amen. Amen. Satan can't have all of us. No, no, no. Huh? Too much prayer has been put up for many of us in here. The devil can't have us because we belong to God. Come on, say amen. When you got the Holy Ghost, uh-huh. it can't, he can't do nothing to you. God got his mark on you. Yeah. Holy Ghost got his hand on you. Uh-huh. When the enemy coming like a flood, uh-huh. the spirit of the Lord uh-huh. will lift the standards uh-huh. up against him. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Glory. They didn't think Peter was much of nothing. He wasn't nothing but a fisherman. Come on, say amen. Folk looked at him and said, oh, he's not an old smelly fisherman. All oh, he's good for is fishing. Come on, say thank you. Folks, look at you. All oh, you will be nothing. You'll never be nothing. His father was a nothing there say. He ain't going to be nothing. His daughters ain't going to be nothing. Folks, speak stuff over your mouth. Come on, say thank you. You'll be nothing. Come on, say amen. Say amen. His father was a drunkard. Huh? He don't be nothing but a drunk. Come on, say thank you. They'll speak that over your life. He ain't nothing. <laughs> Look at him. He thinks he's something. Come on. But how many know when the Holy Ghost shake on? <laughs> they look at you. And they say, who? Man, I said, his, he wasn't nothing. And his father wasn't nothing. How many know the Holy Ghost not to switch the scene? The Holy Ghost will switch. He can shift things. That person that you said was nothing. The Holy Ghost will pick him up. Clean him up. Come on, somebody. Pick him up. Turn him around. And you're looking at him. Man, he amazed you, right? You already spoke. I remember I told a deacon, you know, I, I, they know I went through some things. And I said, yeah, I'm preaching at such and such a place. He said, he was in the church. He was the one that, that motioned for me to become, uh, to get my, to preach my trial sermon. He said, oh, I thought you was all washed up. Come on, somebody. Folks are saying that about you. How many know that when the Holy Ghost is in charge? I'm preaching today. I'm preaching ain't nothing like. Somebody say ain't nothing like. Ain't nothing like. Ain't nothing like. Ain't nothing like. A Holy Ghost party. Uh, all right Come now. Come on, say that. Amen. A Holy Ghost party. You have a good time. Yes, sir. A Holy Ghost party. Yeah. You ain't got to snap your fingers. Yeah. Amen. You can't snap your fingers. Yeah. If you snap your finger with Jesus. Oh, God. God didn't say that you couldn't sing. But he wants you to sing for him. God didn't say that you couldn't dance. But he wants you to dance for you. Come on, God to take that person that you said was nothing. See, that don't be a Holy Ghost speaking to those folks when they downgrade you. See, they don't know the Holy Ghost is sitting back. He's watching. He's waiting for his time to come into your heart and pick you up and turn you around. Come on, say thank you, Lord. Come on, sometimes you'll start believing what people say. Oh, they said uh, they said you would never be nothing. You start thinking all those same words, but then God will begin to speak to you and say, hey, you're my servant. You are my child. I remember when I was strung out and drinking liquor, God would speak to me and say, I'm going to deliver you. you it ain't going to be this way. I said, but my father, he died. He was an alcoholic. He said, that's not going to happen to you. Come on, hallelujah. If the son makes you free, you're free indeed. Come on, say that. When he set you free. Come on, somebody. They ain't got too many free folks in the church. Folks in the choir, but they ain't free. But I can sing that I'm free. When you were singing the song, I'm free. I'm really free. Hallelujah. I'm praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains. No more chains. No more chains. Holding me. Hallelujah. It's just a blessing. Hallelujah. I'm free. See, when you're really free, you don't have to, amen, have nobody say it, amen. I know that's so, right. You, you, nobody got to say amen if, you, if you're free. Amen. Uh, see, some folks say, well, if you if, 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 if you are, uh, amen, I help you get out your way. Whether you say amen, I know the angels are saying amen to me. Come on, somebody. Why don't they amen out of the crowd? God, I don't know the angels are amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. I'm preaching the truth. Lord. Holy Ghost party. So God spoke and said, see it. Desire to sift you as wheat. 
And look at the top of that chapter. Satan was working with Judas already. Working with Judas to go and betray him. And plot. You got folks plotting against you. Come on, somebody. They plot against you. Go against you. Come on, say amen. God called you, but they're going to plot against you. Don't you know they can't plot against Pastor Spellman without plotting against God? That's if I right. Go him, I'm going against God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, say amen. Yeah. If I go against him, I'm going against the great I am. Oh. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Glory. So I did not speak against the man of God. I've always told my grandmother, always say, don't speak against the preacher. No matter what he do, don't speak. Let God deal with him. If he do wrong, God gonna train them out. Come on, say amen. amen. We dig our graves. She said, she said, well, my grandmother said, we dig our graves when we mess with the preacher. Leave the preacher alone. They say amen. amen. If we mess up, then let God straighten them out. Yeah. God can straighten them out. Yes, sir. And if we got the Holy Ghost, amen, he will get straight after a while. You can't be in the Holy Ghost with if he crooked. You stay crooked. If you got the Holy Ghost, amen, you gonna straighten up. Holy Ghost will make you straighten up. Let's say amen. Hallelujah. I remember this man was drunk years ago. He would be drunk on the corner. And he would be falling down. And somebody would say, straighten up and fire right. And he would straighten up. Come on, say amen. He might have straightened up for that time. But see what I like about my God. When he straightened you up, amen. You don't straighten, you don't go back down. But he kept straightening up, but he's going back down. But hallelujah. Once God take you up, amen. He'll deliver you and he'll set you free. Hallelujah. No matter what folks say about you. Come on, say amen. A lot of folks go against God's people. When you're a real man of God, they go against you. Yes. When you're chosen vessel, they don't like you. If everybody likes you, something wrong with you. Yes. Come on, say amen. If you're a powerful person, everybody loves you, something ain't right. right. You better go back and pray. <laughs> Ask God to deliver me. Everybody, because everybody loves me. Let's say amen. The world ain't going to accept you. Everybody on my job don't accept me. Neither of them don't like me. But I talk to them anyway. Come on, say amen. They frown at you. You know the ones that don't like you. Mm -hmm. Come on, say amen. You know the ones that are with you, the ones that ain't like you. But hallelujah, glory to God, it's all right. I heard people say you need to keep your enemy. You need to keep your enemy close to you. So you know what he's doing. I want to say thank you. But when you got the Holy Ghost, uh, the Holy Ghost is real. Uh, the Holy Ghost will make you walk right. Yeah. Holy Ghost will make you talk right. Yeah. Regardless of what say, folks yeah. say about you, uh, I don't care what they say about you. Uh, you will be all right. Uh, God will fix it in your heart. Uh, when you got God in your life, uh, regardless of what they say about you, uh, you got God on your side. And if God is on your side, everything will be all right. Uh, Come on and say thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. He told Peter, when thou art convert, strengthen your brother and when you get crusade, when I fill you with the Holy Ghost, don't sit on it, don't bury it, but when thou art converted, strengthen your brother. Say, yeah, yeah. What the world needs is the Holy Ghost party. I remember Peter, and Peter, <laughs> I used to wonder why every time, they said when Jesus went to certain places, he couldn't take everybody with him, he took Peter, James, and John, everybody can't go with you, everybody ain't got no faith, but Peter, James, and John, the other disciples were on the outside, looking in, he took Peter on the inside, even though Peter denied Christ, say, God went back to Peter, he restored Peter. He said, Peter, do you love me? Hallelujah. He said, I know you know I love you. Good God of mine. And once again, Peter said, Jesus said, feed. Peter! 
deal. They was a special person. And God only loved Jay. Sneakers on. And they call me Reverend Dirt. I remember they used to call me Reverend Dirt. That's Reverend Dirt. They said that. But that was all right. But they didn't know I was clean. <laughs> the sneakers might have been dirty, but I, inside me, I was clean. Nothing like a Holy Ghost body. Amen. You don't need the wine. Amen. You don't need the, the wine that they had, but they had new wine. Amen. And they were. They didn't have a hangover. They say, man. See, out in the world, the next day you mad at the world, you have a hangover. But the next day you smile, you still got joy. Amen. Amen. Nothing like a Holy Ghost boy. Let the folks underestimate you. Let them say you're nothing. For God, that's when God wants you. How many know the rejected one is the selected one? That's right. Did you not know that? Check some. Folk that God had rejected, Peter the smelly fisherman got there, huh? Matthew the publican, they call him a crook, that's the one that God used. Amen. They consider the publican as a traitor. Mm -hmm. But how many of Jesus took use of those people? So Jesus had needed need that day. He wanted to let you know he's here today. And after the Holy Ghost came, they, they were different. But they had to wait till the promise came. Amen. But folk got to wait till they get the Holy Ghost. They don't need to use singing if you ain't got the Holy Ghost. Wait till it manifests in your life. God can show you. Show, let, me, let me see you singing without the Holy Ghost. And then after the Holy Ghost comes, and let me tell you the difference. Yes. There's a difference in when you're singing when you got the Holy Ghost. Because how many know that when you got the Holy Ghost, you're on the heavenly GPS system. Yeah. You're on your way 
to heaven. You got folks singing in the church, but they're not on the, on the heavenly map. They're just on the earth singing. But when you're on the heavenly, God acknowledges you. He knows who you are. So God bless you. I just want to tell you, nothing like a Holy Ghost party. Amen. The Holy Ghost came in and it was on one accord. Amen. Church got to stay on one accord. All right? That's what God told me to give you. Amen. That he prayed. Jesus prayed for us too, as he prayed for Peter. He was praying for all the, this, this generation. Jesus was praying. You know, Jesus is now our heavenly intercessor. And the Holy Spirit is our earthly intercessor. We say amen. And sometimes God may need you to pray. You should pray. And sometimes we should not always have to tell you to pray. Sometimes just go ahead and pray. Amen. Sometimes we, amen. If we tell you to pray, you pray. We said pray for Pastor Spellman, pray for Pastor Spellman. You don't know what he's going through with. Pray. And sometimes you can just get down and say, well, Lord, I'm going, I just want to, I'm, not, I'm getting down here and pray to you. I'm not asking you for nothing, but I just want to tell you how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. Fellowship with God. Have a blessed fellowship with him. Fellowship with your maker. God, I've done some great things. I see many miracles in this church. God is doing great things in this church. God is doing mighty things. Hallelujah. There is room at the cross for you. There is room at the cross for you. Though millions has come, there's room for one more. There is hope at the cross for you, you and you. There is hope at the cross for you, you and you. Though the will of the God has come, there's still room. Thank you. 